Good morning, everyone. It is wonderful to see you all this morning and to be with you, to worship with you, and to celebrate the Lord our God who is good beyond all of our understanding and knowledge. This morning, uh, for announcements, just a, uh, a couple of things that I want to uh, make you aware of or remind you of, um, and then we'll talk about some more things when it comes to time for congregational uh, prayer as well. Um, but for now, I want to remind you, if you, uh, if you know already, uh, or let you know if you don't, uh, that Lord willing, the government is set to announce uh, the next phase of things for uh, reopening in Ontario uh, March the 1st, which is only a couple days away from now. And that means, hopefully, from what we understand, that we will be allowed to have up to 100% capacity in our worship services on Sunday morning. Yay! Yay! Um, we will still be required to wear masks for the time being, as far as we understand it, um, but we will be able to be together, as many of us as we can pack in here. Um, we will also, uh, I, I think, be able to have coffee and tea and fellowship afterwards in the fellowship hall, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, but that would be really cool. We have already started a variety of our ministries, including during church Sunday school and before church uh, catechism and Sunday school. Um, other ministries are either already started or going to be starting soon. Uh, so those are all wonderful, wonderful things. Lord willing, we will also be celebrating Lord's Supper next Sunday. So this Sunday we'll be doing some preparation, uh, but we will be, Lord willing, as I said, celebrating Lord's Supper. Now, we will provide uh, the elements as we have done in our traditional way. However, if you are uncomfortable partaking in the elements that are being provided, uh, we will be as cautious as we can be in the preparation of those elements. But if you are uncomfortable with that, that's okay. You may, if you like, bring your own elements. There's nothing special or magical about the, the blessing of the pastor over these elements that wouldn't apply to uh, anything you brought with you. So if you are more comfortable with that, uh, then bring your own elements by all means. Also, to be uh, aware as well, if and when the time comes that uh, we are able to remove masks, again, if you are more comfortable keeping your mask on at that time, you are welcome to do so. That's okay. Also, again, if as we transition, if you are uncomfortable being in a group of uh, however many people, we will, we're planning to continue to offer online services for, I don't know, forever, basically. Um, so, you know, there will always be, Lord willing, that option as well. So you are not removed from us, even if uh, you are not here physically. We are all a community and body of believers. So uh, just wanted to let you know about all of that. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Early on in the pandemic, I saw a, a video of a pastor waltzing down the aisles, dancing and hugging everybody and stuff like this. And it said, you know, what I'm going to be like after the pandemic. And, you know, I'm a little bit tempted, but I'll try not to do that to you. Um, but uh, it's, it's uh, exciting, hopefully. In terms of other announcements, just remind you and thank you again for all of those who have been willing and have felt led to allow their names to stand for office bearer. Uh, please continue to be in thought about that. The elders and deacons certainly are and have been out soliciting uh, nominations as well. And so we are very grateful about that as well. Now, uh, we'll talk about the rest uh, later on. So please rise and receive God's greeting. 
Welcome, brothers and sisters, into this place. This place where we, as children of God, and brothers and sisters in Christ, dwell together in unity and love. Welcome. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. We'll invite the praise team forward, and we will start with our musical worship with Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. <laughs> 